good morning. This is Dr. Bart Rademacher, prescription for your transformation. Hashtag real people, hashtag real conversations. I'm very excited to be introducing right away uh, Mr. Stephen Klein, a co-founder and global brand ambassador of Healthy Fits, and um, also introducing to you Body Core and Theragoods. And so the question that then I was thinking about this morning and how I was going to introduce today was was simply this: is that in this busy technological world, we're surrounded by many shiny objects that, that attract our attention. And each one of these, of course, could be a major contribution to our lives and a life purpose and a life, life of complete fulfillment. But then, however, when there are too many of these shiny objects out there, it may simply distract us from the very path that we really want to make. And so I'm very excited today to be introducing Mr. Stephen Klein, a fellow that I've known for quite some time, quite an amazing journey. And I'm excited to, to hear from him today, you know, what his major life events have done for him and where he finds himself today. And this is truly a testament to someone's desire to find happiness, desire to find fulfillment, but also desire to live a life of purpose and not giving up on it. And so for today, we're going to have that conversation about not giving up, finding your true purpose and also the people that help you along the way. So Stephen, thank you for joining me today. Pleasure to be here, Dr. Bart. Thank you very much for having me. So you are doing something very special. And in this world where there's so much information, you know, it's a challenge to know, or it's a challenge to filter out the right kind of information that's gonna make a difference for us. And this is perhaps most important in one area about health and fitness and well-being and nutrition. And that's your life purpose is providing that accurate information, but not only accurate information, phenomenal resources that people can tap into so that they can better their lives. Exactly. And what important part of that is that I'm not that source. I'm providing that source. So it's not like I'm going to say, hey, look at me, do do this. It's like, hey, I, I was always really frustrated by people that wanted to be healthy and they get a hold of just inaccurate and frankly bad information and run 100 miles an hour in the wrong direction. So obviously their chance for success or attaining their goal was zero or very close to zero or impossible, however you want to phrase it. So I've always wanted to be able to provide, you know, have a have some kind of resource, company, partnership, team, whatever you want to say, to provide accurate health and wellness information. Not just that, then the innovative solutions for peak performance that most people will never hear about, call them biohacks, whatever you want to say, how to get better sleep, how to uh, better sex life, anything to do with your biology and living longer, living healthier, active, feeling better, any of that stuff, having the resources to be able to share that with people so they can pick whatever area that is to have a holistic healthy life not just eating better or a little bit better fitness but that whole everything encompassing overall health that most people don't even put their toe in the water of other than those two areas well and you have a long history of uh wanting to actually help people with the personal fitness because for a long time, you're also a personal trainer. Right. So um, that was, I don't know, 1990, 1993 to 1998, 1999. And I got frustrated because, again, working with somebody one on one, there wasn't an ability to, to leverage that. I didn't know anything about marketing back then. It was just me and one person. And I didn't feel like I could do anything on a, on a big scale. And I didn't just open up into another area of health and wellness. You know, I kind of, wandered the desert in, in sales jobs and other areas to try to tackle the money thing and then be able, and then someday focus on something bigger in that space. But uh, I did have a really solid background and knowledge of health and wellness and nutrition. And then I continued to learn and, and study in that area, even when I wasn't working in that space. Yeah, and I understand that you did a lot of you know personal development as well. So not just in physical health, <clears throat> and and nutrition, but also you know, personally in the personal development world, which you and I are very familiar with, which is where we actually, I believe, we met at, for the first time. 
Right. And you obviously impressed me as somebody that was already really successful with your business life, still working diligently, ongoing to learn more and more and more and apply it to your life. So that was always a good example. And then the one thing that always really fulfilled me, why I have no idea, but I loved meeting people that were already successful and being able to add value in some way to what they were doing, whether it was a contact resource, whatever, be the source of that for absolutely zero monetary gain. But I just felt really fulfilled anytime I could put somebody with, together with someone else or connect them, they'd go up and you know, multiply the results or, or whatever it was in any area. I always feel really great about that. And so I just developed a habit of doing that ongoing. And, and if I found out someone needed something, I'd have that file in the back of my, of my head. Three years later, I could run into someone who could be that answer for them and boom, it was just always there. This is what I've innately, I'm wired to do that. That's, that is my special talent and ability that I've applied to what I'm doing now. But it's the, for me, it's the funnest and most fulfilling thing that I do. And it's kind of random, but that's, you know, I enjoy it. Yeah, and that's a very unique uh, quality and, and one thing that I've always respected uh, of you. And and you have that reputation as being that super connector. And you are truly that super connector. You keep these contacts. I, I can't imagine how large your, your contact list is. It must be enormous. And and you just keep on going. And I know that you, know, you and I have touched bases, you know, every few years. You know, we had a gap, I think, of maybe even six or seven before we reconnected. And it's interesting because your your focus, uh, and, I, and I really appreciate your focus, is your focus is out there just simply to help people. You're not asking for anything in return. I can't think of any time that you ever asked anything of me, which makes it even a greater privilege and honor for me to help you today, you know, with your message, with your story, because you never asked anything and you've always helped others. Yeah, and I, you know, I've made mistakes along the way where I, I, in, in trying to, even while I was doing that, having a business idea or the shiny object, whatever you want to call it, chasing that, thinking that I'm going to hit a home run with one swing instead of kind of hitting singles in the business world to drive revenue. And I've learned my, I've, and I've repeated the mistake over and over again. I'm, I'm past that. I've learned how to say no to shiny objects that are thrown in front of me. But I've found that if you have your integrity and you do what you say you're going to do, you add value without asking for anything in return. You're not going to ruin your name if you fail with things. And that was so I failed a ton. And I didn't do what Tony Robbins teaches that if you're measuring it and you make a mistake and you see it, alter it and move ahead. I held on to my mistakes longer than you should in a lot of cases. But I never, but I always fulfilled on what I said I was going to do. Or as soon as I knew, figured out that I couldn't do it, I would make a new agreement instead of waiting until after the fact and coming back with an excuse. So that, you know, that always helps with relationships and, and connections and whatever you want to call it in, in fulfilling what, what you say you're going to do to the best of your ability or letting people know when you, when you know you can't as soon as that happens. So, you know, at least I did that. So I always had my word. And even though I had pretty low lows or didn't have financial abundance in those times, I did do my best to keep my integrity, at least with others. And of course, I mentioned this to yes, someone yesterday. The biggest person that I have trouble keeping an integrity with is is me, the things that I tell myself I want to do because I'm not accountable to anybody else except myself, you know. So well, maybe maybe you need a, um, a performance strategist or a life coach to make sure. Yeah. You know, they keep no, I know about that. <laughs> but one thing <clears throat> you shared with me earlier today, and and because perhaps you're like many people out there that feel that you're searching. And you try one thing and you try another thing and and you've made the mistakes. And I think you and I have made some of the same mistakes in the same companies. And but what's different now? Because you're with a company, um, you're a global ambassador of Healthy Fit Club, uh, you're with Bodycore and and you're introducing their goods. What's different about the company that that you're you've created or co-founded, the group that you're with? And, you know, what's your mindset? What's the difference in your mindset today than it was before? So when we founded the company and brought people together, the one thing that I realized was even though we had the ability for one of our partners to drive revenue immediately, we knew that money was going to go back into the company. So I actually, for the first time in my life, went to take care of um, hitting those singles and, and found a way where I could add value for someone who could pay me 
a pay paycheck, even though I wouldn't look at it as a typical job because I was working independently with him. We made an agreement where I said, look, I'm going to, I'm going to do this and this and add tons of value to you. You're going to make tons of money. It's measurable. And I got paid like a, a salary and, and with the agreement that when we're ready to start paying me from the company, I'll train somebody for that position, but no love loss. We're all good. And I, and I move on. And in, while I'm working that position in between everything I'm doing when I'm, when I don't have, it was in healthcare, had a patient, I'm working on our company. It was a huge win-win. I did that from August to, to January, cut the cord, boom, and we're off to the races. And as far as the company set up for the focus and stuff, we knew what we wanted to do. We had some opportunities where we had to go, okay, this one is the A1 priority for right now. This is what we're working on next. We all knew, we didn't know exactly what the roadmap looked like, but we knew what the, what, what the priorities were. And we had more people come to us and go, hey, we, this is a great item for you to market. And we took us this long to say, no, we have this, this, and this. That's our bandwidth. We have our focus. We've got to build and develop this. And we're not, all, you know, as far as an org chart or an org board, there are five of us that are still working a lot of pieces in that org chart or org board that we'll be backing out of and replacing with more talented people in those spots, like any company. But we, we, we knew our limits our resources and that kind of thing but the biggest part for me was not jumping off a cliff and trying to build a parachute on the way down to count on revenue coming in as an entrepreneur immediately even though we did become profitable almost immediately all that money was was turned back into the company so now we're in a position where as you mentioned with body core should show you one thing it's a it's a clean line of fitness supplements this is one of them it's pre-workout what's what you think about that and the reason why there's a big space for us is fitness supplements, not to be confused with wellness supplements, like let's say you take a beef liver supplement. That's for wellness. In the fitness world, you're talking about pre-workouts, hormone balancers, anti-aging, a, um, a fat burn item or a, or a thermogenic to get you, you know, get you going. In that world, and I didn't know this, but one of my business partners, one of the top male physique models and actors in the in the world, he's famous in that space, he'd always been really, really frustrated because those particular supplements, for whatever reason, for the most part, are filled with garbage, unnatural ingredients, flavoring, sweeteners, you name it. And I'm not saying that there are no good companies out there in that space. I'll mention one, and hell, it's promoting them. On it Labs is really good. There are several others, but as a whole, those supplements are garbage. So there was a lot of room for us to come in and go, okay, look, if we can formulate something that's healthy, no harsh ingredients in the fitness supplement world, we've got a big space. And TJ's got a huge following. You know, my other other partner, Mark, who's just a genius online marketer. We can really, really put a dent in that in that space. So that was an area that we just launched a while back. And we're adding on to that with a with a new product called Power Plant, plant based protein. We'll add a collagen one later. But there's there's just a lot of room. And so the team came together. We have certain strengths. There's a lot of Stephen Dippity and we we're, we're doing well already with that line. And then the third goods was what happens with a lot of companies where you find a company has got an unbelievable product, but they don't really have a good marketing, the ability to market to the consumer market. And the, the owner of that company was already be trying to already trying to work with us or my business partner, Mark for a few years. And there was a ton of Steve and Dippity with that. And now we're bringing to the market, not only filtered water, but structured filtered water. And that's going to be a big buzzword. We kind of have to educate the market a little bit with, but because our filter removes things better than most things on the market, we don't have to educate the market to get our mousetrap out because it does a better job of the other ones without even this new thing that we have to educate the market with as far as the most biocompatible water for your body, which is Gerald Pollack wrote a book called The Fourth Phase of Water, which talks about how this water is, is helps your cells communicate better and, and a lot more. We don't need to get into it here. But we've got two things right now that we're bringing to market that we're really, really excited about that we're, will improve the health and wellness of the entire general population that consumes it. Water is the most, you know, your cells are 99% water. Without that, none of this other stuff matters to a big degree. So we're, we're really excited about what we've got, the quality of it, the people involved, our marketing capabilities, just all of it. I never had any of that before. I'd count on one big thing. And I, I, I actually would not take action in any degree waiting on someone else to fulfill on something they said they were going to do. But this is the first time in my life that we have a team where everybody's got their strength. We know what we want to do. We're focused. Um, and, and the backing up a little bit when you asked about how 
somebody can do that. For me, I was clueless. So I actually got some mentorship with a guy that um, was very clear and very good at, at being a leader of men, making them, putting them in a situation where they could be a high impact male, low need, high service. And I was high need, low service. So the formula that the, these guys had that I could share with you, which really, really helped me was figuring out what are you innately good at? What's your thing that you were put on this planet to do that you do a little better than most people or anybody else and everybody's got a skill set so for me we talked about earlier <clears throat> connecting people um, what audience do I want to impact or what audience can I impact the most well for me I would I would think that it's health seekers people that want to be healthy not trying to wake up some guy that's sedentary and go you need to do this and you need to do that that's not my, I don't influence I'm not a good you know I, I can't lead those people or influence them or impact them at least not as well as people that are looking to be healthy. And then, <clears throat> so how do I find the space <clears throat> to apply both of those things? Get a little sip of water here. <clears throat> and what these gentlemen, they led me on this path, <clears throat> was to figure out what they call your ultimate life problem. And so I started throwing out, oh, well, my top five problems can be tied to money. And they're like, what? Money? All right, you're the biggest check in the world. It's not going to solve your problems. Get outside yourself. What? What pro what's bugged you your whole life that's a problem that you think you can help solve or be a part of? And after you know some inward <clears throat> introspection, whatever you want to call it, came out with that mission statement that of people that get <clears> – <throat> you know, they want to be healthy. They get the wrong information. They run the wrong way, and they, they have no chance of, of success, and that is my ultimate life. That's bugged me since I was a little kid because for me to be healthy – was always really easy. Like for you, the skill sets you have, you know, you, you get them. You, yes, it took work. It took implementing those things, but you get it. So for me, it's like, Oh my God, you're getting the wrong information. All you need to do is get the right access to good information, apply it. And you're going to succeed. So my ultimate life problem was disseminating or whatever you want to call it, sharing accurate health and wellness information and the audience, the motivated health seekers, <clears throat> and the connecting skill set that I have helped bring this team together to do it. So multifaceted thing, but <clears throat> you know, now we're in a, in a direction where my whole team feels really, really blessed. When we do our, our weekly <clears throat> call, we start off with everybody saying what they feel grateful about. And almost every call, it has something to do with our own company, what we're doing, what we feel we're going to do for the world. So that's kind of the little short version. I know I talk really fast, but no, that's that great. And, and, and this is precisely what what people are needing to hear, <clears throat> because a lot of people look at others who are successful in life, perhaps, and and they think to themselves, well, they've got it made, you know, they had the right resources, they right, they had the right intellect, they had the right money, and that's not necessarily true. In fact, usually it's not true. There's many many failures, many misdirections, many mistakes, if you will that have led you to where you are today and what's great about what you do now is that you do what you love to do i mean every single day you're doing things that really you know fill you with passion and so you know the secondary gain to all of that is is money or is are, are other things but the primary gain is that you do what you love and and in that process what you love to do is help others in, in the way that you do. And I think that's phenomenal. And that's just a great example of model you know, for others. And the other key concept, which you're absolutely right on about, and also quite frankly, it was the story of my life as well, is that after 17 years of extensive training, and intensive training in, in plastic and reconstructive surgery, you know, I thought I should be at the top of the world. And there was a big gap and I didn't even know what the gap was. And fortunately, what I found out, I didn't realize it quite at then, but you know, this is the, the reason for this platform today, is that what you don't know that you don't know, that's gonna make the difference. It's that very thing that you don't know about that will make you know, your, your, your life the way that you want it to be. And the truth is, you know, you, you'll have to try a lot of different things on you know, before you find out what it truly is. But if you're not looking, like you said, if you're not that seeker, then, then what's the point? And and then fortunately, again, these are there are a lot of people out there that are just completely unconscious of what it is that they really want in life, what their compelling future really is, because everyone has that. And look at yourself. You know, it, it took someone to, you know to shake you up and say, hey, it's not about the big check. 
It truly is about what you're passionate about and, you know, finding out what that problem is. And you know about this whole idea about the primary question or mission statement. You know, for me, what I recently discovered and, and you know, I'm maybe a few years older than you, um, is I'm passionate about creating change and enhancing life. And so everything that I do today, whether it's my plastic surgery, you know, whether it's my stem cell surgeries that I do in the Bahamas, whether it's my performance strategies are also known as life coaching or just education or just this platform in particular, I'm passionate about creating change and enhancing life. So everything that I get to do is there and that's the primary goal. But for you, you had also an interesting experience almost what, 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was transformative. Yeah, I mean, so as you know, I, you know, I'm driving down the interstate. No one, and I just had this conversation yesterday talking about somebody was using the word guilt and blame a lot. I'm like, look, man, if you want to be healthy, there's no guilt or blame. There's just responsibility. And in my accident, I'm driving down the interstate in my lane, four o'clock in the afternoon, not a cloud in the sky, and someone falls asleep at the wheel going the other way, crosses through the cables in the median of the interstate, goes under them. Into my lane, I come over a hill and hit them right in their driver's door. And you can say all day long, oh, my God, what? If that's that guy's fault and blah, blah, blah. We all, when we get in our car, we take responsibility that we're getting. No one's going to guarantee us that, yes, we have to, we're supposed to stay in our lane. Nothing's to say somebody's not going to come across our lane and hit us. That's, we, we have to take responsibility for everything. And I got that part hardwired in my head, and I had a great recovery from that accident. And I knew I was here for a reason. And again, I kind of wandered the desert after that to forever still looking for what am I going to do with all this excitement and vivor for life that I know I'm here for something. I still had no idea what it was. And I didn't do the work to, to find out what it was until recently. So who, who, I did it, though. Who cares how long it takes you? you can all, there's always a point to start with whatever you want to do. It's never too late. you know. And I, I had a little bit of that thought pattern, I guess, uh, from time to time, but never – did I ever give up? No, I'm here for a reason. I'm going to figure it out eventually and just kept going. And I think that's a huge key is, is don't stop. I mean, you're not, you don't fail until you quit and you can't succeed unless you do fail. Right. So that was a big part of it. No, oh, that's amazing. Well, this has been a very enlightening uh, conversation with you, Stephen, and I, and I very much appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to, you know, wrap up these conversations with you know some very specific takeaways one of which you know we talked about beforehand and one of yours is you focus you focus on one thing and if you think about it you know what does focus stand for focus one course until successful and what's great about that too is that you know we can get so distracted and the challenge there is that we're looking, we're, we're sometimes not knowing exactly what it is that we're looking for. And if we don't have that clarity, and in your particular case, you found that clarity that you just want to help people with the right health information that are specifically seeking that. So having that clarity, having that focus, doing what you love, having that right team that has the same kind of commitment and same kind of passion as you do, and then you're in a great place. And then success is really about all the magic that you get to deliver to other people so that they can change their lives. You want to add anything to that? Yeah, you know, I, I love the fact that you you uh, got in touch with me to, to bring me on as a guest for this because you've got content that I can share with my audience on our Healthy Fit Club website. Getting back in touch with you, that's another you know point of contact that one degree away is – and let's uh, other context for me. So I'm really excited about what you what you're doing now um, for for you inviting me on. So upward and onward, man. We're, we we I end most of my videos that we do. I'll say to you know optimal health and peak performance. That's what what all my mission's about. So I'd say that uh, as the as the ending in your in your interview with me. Thank you very Perfect. much. I love it. Thank you so much, Stephen. We'll be talking uh, many times more and uh, bringing in your team to have conversations here and. The whole idea then is also to have people who are listening or watching also to uh, shoot out some questions once we develop that platform where people can do that. So, Stephen, thank you so much. And uh, whatever I can do for you, you know, just give me a shout out. I'm here to support. All right. Thanks, Dr. Bard. Have a fantastic day. You too. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs>